it's good to learn when you win. Um, and this team was was amazing, special. It's the beginning of something that it's gonna last for a long time. Um, and from the first guy, uh, you know, all 12 guys uh, came in and worked every day since August 1st. They got better, at least 1% or better every day. And they built the identity that we just shown, the resiliency. It wasn't perfect because we don't have a lot of experience in FIBA, but I think we're here uh, showing that we can do great things. So thanks, Dylan. Thanks to all the guys. Um, the organization, the board, uh, the country for trusting me. And before I go to the questions, I know it's taking a little long, but I want to thank two people very special for me. One is my wife, Kelsey, because when you're away from home for so long, it's tough when you're doing, you know, you're coaching uh, in the World Cup and you're away from home and you miss your kids. Um, so thanks for, you know, supporting me. And then thanks to Coach Blatt. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with him. Um, he is, he's like my angel and, you know, he's always there for me, so thanks. Thank you. We start with questions up here in the front, please. Uh, hi, Emmett Ryan from Ballman Europe. It's a question for Dylan. Dylan, you just had an amazing game there after the crowd have been on your back all tournament. Just got to ask, have you got anything you want to say to the haters? Uh, I just appreciate you. Um, from the beginning, um, you know, uh, everybody that was throwing shots at um, and Twitter and Instagram, you know, watching me play. Um, but, you know, it just helps me get better and better each and every day. Um, motivates me to, you know, be better on the court for my teammates, for whatever team I'm playing for. And um, just motivates me to keep going. Thank you. We continue up here. DonatosRumnasBasketNews.com. Coach, Team USC program was known for building, you know, relationships, uh, and now Canada finally has the best players uh, in, in this program. What did you learn about the, the main guys, the new main guys of this team, like Shelly, Gilgis, Alexander, Dylan Brooks, that you, maybe you didn't know uh, about them as persons, personalities, basketball characters before starting this project? I've learned that they're great people and that I would take them on my team from now until the end of my career, all of them. Thank you. Can we get the microphone second row? Congratulations to you guys. Uh, Dylan, it, you could tell that this one really meant a lot to you. Can you explain why, what, what the real motivation was for you today? Um, you know, just a tough loss to Serbia. And, you know, around the locker room, uh, you know, we really wanted to play, you know, U.S. Um, and, you know, we got our, we got our wish. You know, Germany uh, played a great game and uh, found a way to beat them. And, you know, I was, you know, I sent, uh, you know, in the group chat that, you know, we got what we wanted. Let's be ready to play. Um, and I was just, you know, feeling really good. Um, I really wanted to play against Jaron Jackson, but I don't know what happened to him. I hope he's all right. Um, but, um, you know, just, you know, having that, you know, edge every single game, remembering, you know, how I, you know, prepared for the game, how I, um, you know, was trying to be a leader out there for my teammates. Uh, you know, I got to bring this, you know, back to, you know, back to Houston. I saw some questions on this end of the room. Yes, right here. Yes. Good evening, Dylan Ivan from Dagot Philippines and <clears throat> NBA. So, how was it like when those boosts turned into MVP chants? Uh, it was my second time, you know, they did the same thing in Jakarta. Um, you know, it's just uh, amazing feeling um, to be recognized during the game. Uh, but, you know, I just never take it for granted. Uh, the work doesn't stop here. You know, it keeps, keeps going. Um, and, you know, I'm not satisfied and neither is, you know, any one of us on this team. Jake, Jake Fisher with Yahoo Sports. Dylan, any particular reason why you wanted to go against Jaron? And also, since coming to Manila these last three games, your shot has seemed to just kind of be 
pretty pure and you've been surprised when you've missed? Seven and eight today, has there been something different, something that allowed you to get into more of a, a heightened rhythm out here? Um, you know, I love playing against Jaron. It's just, you know, the Memphis connection. Um, you know, I've been talking about this, you know, since the season. First it was, you know, Santi with the Spain, and then, you know, able to, you know, play against, you know, guys that you, you know, work with, you know, for like two years, three years. You know, me, Jaron, you know, I was there since he was a rookie. So, you know, um, I hope he's all right. Um, but um, what was your second question? Um, I just been countlessly working on it, you know, paying real attention to it. Um, even before, you know, we started working uh, as a team in Team Canada, um, I feel like that's what I was missing. Um, and then, you know, just um, in, you know, Toronto, they got this machine that, like, you know, helps you with your arc. And I just had that number in my head, you know, every single time with uh, one of our coaches named Nate. And, um, you know, every single time I'll just keep thinking and just keep working at it, just feel it out, feel it out, and just be relentless, you know, shooting the basketball. And then, you know, after every practice, I'm shooting with Lou, you know, seven spots, um, competitions, um, just, just trying to take it to another level. Um, and, you know, it's just being patient with it and, you know, it just comes out and, you know, I never wanted to, you know, four shots or, you know, um, hunt it. Um, you know, that was one of my, you know, roles on this team is, you know, shot selection. And, you know, I feel like I did a pretty good job, uh, you know, this World Cup. You did a great job. <laughs> one more question up here, yes. Hey, Dylan Crusher, Celta Sport out Greece. After everything that you've been through last season, how enjoyable was for you to have that succeed with Canada national team? And what would you like to take on from this, to carry on from this experience going to the next season with the Rockets? Um, it was so enjoyable. Um, you know, obviously, you know, the hate doesn't stop. It keeps going. Um, but, you know, just having, you know, my country behind me, you know, a head coach, you know, behind me, general manager, you know, all these guys behind me trying to, you know, have me succeed, you know, nothing with the politics, nothing with, you know, anything to do with, you know, I feel like with contracts or any of those things, um, you know, uh, you know, I can succeed, you know, it's hard to battle against the world and a team, you know, so, um, you know, it's just a great feeling, um, you know, to win bronze, you know, to continuously create history throughout this country. And that's why I said in the last couple of questions, you know, this doesn't stop, you know, um, you know, you got to keep going because, you know, they love you when you're when you're up like right now. But when you have a bad game, you know, they go right back to it. So, um, you know, never to be satisfied and, you know, always keep working. We continue over here in the back before we move to the front. Carol Stiva from Poland. Question to Dylan talking about haters. On a personal level, how does it feel to you to be a villain? Obviously, you're a tough player, it motivates you, but at the same time, probably it upsets you. You didn't do anything wrong to people. Um, you know, it's just, uh, just a persona. You know, people love it. Uh, you know, I've grown to, you know, loving myself. Um, it's just like, you know, like Kobe Bryant, you know, RIP to Kobe Bryant, how he had to figure out how to, you know, create a black mamba. Um, you know, a different persona when he comes on the court. So, you know, I guess that's my persona, you know, the villain, um, just on the court. But, you know, I'm a loving, caring guy who, you know, loves my kids, you know, love my family, you know, love my teammates, um, just love the world as well. Dylan. He was blowing kisses to the fans way back when. <laughs>